Uh, really uh, pleased to welcome here to the show a great American. Uh, I had a chance to work with him briefly, uh, but for a long time, uh, he was a, a social studies teacher at Flathead High School uh, and has been a teacher for a number of years. Uh, but the other great thing about uh, Representative John Fuller is he's also one of our great Vietnam veterans. Uh First off, uh, Representative Fuller, um, before I thank you for your service in your legislature, I want to thank you and all Vietnam veterans out there. We can't thank you guys enough. Well, uh, thank you, Aaron, although I prefer the expression, uh, finally, welcome home, because uh, 50 years ago this year uh, uh, was when I returned, and uh, it was into an ungrateful nation, and uh, very few people ever said, welcome home. Fifty and, years uh, ago is when you got back from Vietnam, huh? Yep, it'll yeah, be fifty years ago uh, later this year. Wow! So, uh, uh, yeah, I know. I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting so old. I stopped buying green bananas. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Any, anyway, uh, so as uh, you know, when I came to the legislature, the people of the House District Eight were so kind as to reward me with more service. Uh, I uh, was determined to see if I could do something uh, for uh, our veterans. And, um, uh, of course, uh, you know, re retired military service personnel are an extremely capable uh, group of individuals, as you well know. Uh, and so I uh, was looking at them, and besides, and I was doing some research, and I discovered that uh, uh, New Mexico and California both, they both have income taxes, rather, rather hefty ones, I might add, and they uh, uh, discovered that if they uh, exempted uh, uh, retired military service personnel's military pensions, that within three years, the contribution, the increase in retired uh, personnel coming to their state and the increased economic activity from them uh, by the third year uh, far offset any reductions in tax revenue they would get from taxing their retired military pension. That's what okay. always that's what always drives me nuts about tax policy in Helena. Is I I don't think the fiscal note is ever an accurate representation. So, like, take for example, you know, a little over a year ago, Governor Steve Bullock was telling us, well, if if we cut these taxes, or his revenue director was saying, well, if we cut these taxes, it's going to cause a, you know, he first said something like a hundred thirty million, then an eighty million dollar hole in our state budget. Well, then we cut taxes. President Trump and the Republican Congress cut taxes. And we saw a bump in revenues. We saw a Trump bump in revenues. They got more revenue than what Bullock thought they were going to get. And uh, and I think the same thing is true here where, hey, if we recruit these retired military service members to come here to Montana, they bring that pension with them. Meaning if that if that pension, if that paycheck is $40,000 a year up to 60, I mean I, I could even tell you what the average pension check is. That's money, free money that's coming to Montana that they're going to be – Spending in our restaurants, uh, supporting their kids' school programs, with you name it. Um, and then they'll still take on, they'll help fill some of these other jobs that are open. Well, yeah, let's look at uh, the, uh, the contributions of uh, retired military service personnel, or, you know, in military acronyms, RMSPs. You know, <laughs> uh, first, they're not Social Security geezers like me. Okay, their average age is uh, less than 45. Yeah. Okay, they've all got master's degrees or better. You know whether they're NCOs or officers. Okay, they already have health care. You know, they and their families are not going to become uh, health care beneficiaries of some kind of public program already. They already have one through the federal government that they've uh, so uh, uh, rightfully earned. Uh, their retirement payments, like you said, will become income uh, that will be spent. But on top of that, remember that they now they seek new jobs, and their families do. Yeah, you know their, their second careers generate labor income and tax revenues, uh, and so do their families. And of course, uh, uh, you know they they have children usually, uh, and the consequence of that they uh, in both studies, uh, rather objective studies in California and New Mexico, the increase in personal income taxes, gross receipts taxes, and corporate income tax after the third year resulted in far greater revenue to the state than uh, uh, because of the attractiveness of increasing uh, uh, new uh, retired personnel. Now, New Mexico has approximately 20,000 retired military people. 
okay, and Montana, which is a much smaller state population-wise, has uh, around 9,000, okay? And if we were to get 500 more or 1,000 more retired military service personnel, uh, the revenue generated by uh, all of those things to the economy would be, be phenomenal. And on top of that, uh, uh, in New Mexico, they estimate that that uh, cutting the sal the, the uh, tax on their retirement salary, military retirement pension only, not their other incomes, uh, resulted in more than thirty five million dollars new revenue to the state. Wow, yeah. So okay. it's it, it's a win win, and I understand it's got support. I believe it. You know, I'm a member of the American Legion and the VFW. I think both organizations are supporting. Uh, they and, then, are. and then also I've, I've heard from uh, the leaders in the uh, Devil's Brigade chapter of the Special Forces Association. They're supporting this as well. Uh, did, did I hear that the bill just cleared a, uh, cleared a key committee here recently also? Okay. My, yes, my bill has cleared committee, and it's being held by leadership for the opportune time to bring it to the floor. Oh, okay. okay. And, and uh, I'm, I'm fairly confident that it will – uh, that it will pass uh, the House, and I, uh, I'm also fairly confident that it will pass the Senate. What it does over in the second floor of the building, of course, uh, re- you know, remains. And, of course, there are always uh, appropriations in House Bill 2 because uh, it does have a physical impact, although it is uh, right now it was amended in committee to be phased in over five years. So that reduces the initial shock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I'd so, like to speak to one more issue. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah. And, and then also tell us who, who people should call uh, to help push this along also. Okay. Well, uh, they need to call their various uh, uh, local representatives uh, uh, local and uh, tell them to push for uh, House Bill 130, both their representatives and their senators, uh, and uh, that it's good for Montana. And But uh, I want to speak to one more thing. Yeah. And that is that since September 11, 2001, our professional military has engaged in, in, in those people that have stayed and are going to be retiring. They're almost, we've, this is 18 years since that attack, almost. And some of those individuals that have joined the military since then are, that have been staying are going to retire. I know of recent retirees, recent retirees, not old geezers like me, recent retirees that have spent more than eight years in combat. Yeah, overseas, away from their families. And then they come home, and then they're gone for training exercises and getting ready to go on the next one. Yeah, They deserve more than we have ever given before to our veterans. Okay? And believe me, uh, they are very astute uh, when they finally uh, change careers as to to where to go to uh, maximize their educational opportunity. Montana, they would love to come to Montana. Our Montana veterans would love to come back home. And I think it's time for us to truly say to our veterans, welcome home. All right, I hear you there. Representative John Fuller, thanks for your continued service. Always great to talk with you and uh, keep us posted as this uh, bill uh, progresses back there in Helena. Oh, okay. And thank you, sir, for uh, my uh, uh, opportunity to speak with you, and I'm off to do more of the people's business. All right. Well, sounds good. Well, let us know however we can help. Great to chat with you. And again, thanks, thanks again to you and all the Vietnam veterans out there, and welcome home. That's for sure.